One day, Arthur was shunting freight cars in the yard. Just as Arthur was having a drink at the water tower, Diesel oiled in. Hello, Arthur, said Diesel. Saw you shunting cars this morning. Arthur didn't know what to say about Diesel's attitude. Anything steam engines can do, we Diesels love shunting cars. At last, Arthur lost patience. Shunting is real work, said Arthur. Without us engines, there'll be no way for the mainline engines to pull freight cars and coaches. Oh yeah? Oil Diesel, we'll see about that, Arthur. And he oiled away. Diesel had been called into goods work, while Arthur was sulking in the shed for the rest of the day. Soon, Diesel was assigned to take the express. This made Gordon furious. Diesel can't pull the express, said Gordon. I just know it. We run this island, said James. Not smelly diesels. Well, that's not true, said Diesel. I've never been pulling passengers before, so here I am. And Diesel oiled to the next station. The next day, Diesel oiled into the station when the station master came up. Diesel, said the station master, can you collect some coaches from the yards? These passengers are waiting to get on board the train. Yes, sir, squirmed Diesel. And he oiled out of the yard. When Diesel arrived at the shunting yard, he didn't know where the express coaches were. When Diesel walked toward the siding, he saw the express coaches. Now for my plan, Oil Diesel. And he rolled forward toward the coaches. Then there was trouble. As Diesel got closer and closer to the coaches, as Diesel got closer, he biffed into the coaches. Some of the coaches came off the rails, including Diesel. Grease and oil, Diesel cried. I'm off. And he was. The yard manager was very cross when he saw the coaches off the line and Diesel on his side. This is unacceptable behavior, Diesel, said the yard manager. You bumped into the coaches and you derailed yourself while shunting. Where's the breakdown train, Diesel groaned. Unfortunately to you, said the yard manager, the breakdown train's not coming. You will stay here until we know what to do. Diesel was ashamed. That afternoon, Arthur arrived with the breakdown train. Instead of feeling sorry for Diesel, he teased him. Fancy getting derailed with your coaches, eh, Diesel? Laughed Arthur. But Diesel didn't say anything. He felt embarrassed. A few minutes later, the coaches were lifted back onto the line. Soon, Diesel was loaded on Arthur's flatbed and together they set off to the works. When Arthur brought Diesel to the works, Sir Topham Hatt was waiting for them. He was not happy with Diesel. Diesel, said Sir Topham Hatt, explain yourself. I collided with the express coaches, sir, said Diesel. I was supposed to bring them to the station, but I came off the rails. Well, Diesel, said Sir Topham Hatt, we cannot allow it on my railway. You're going back to the other railway first thing in the morning. 
Diesel felt very ashamed. The next day, when Diesel was fully repaired, the other engines came to say goodbye to Diesel. You won't be missed, Diesel, laughed James. It serves you right for causing trouble at the shunting yard, chuckled Arthur. With that, Diesel sulked slowly away.